we're working on a piece, a sculpture. I'm not of this world. I'm in the world of creating. I look at the area, the design I'm going to work with, the people who live in the area, and I try to come up with something that speak about the people and also speak about the energy that's in that area. When Mr. Cole designed the Circle Library, I had to come up with a, a design using African mahogany wood. The symbols on the doors, as you go in, it welcomes you. And as you come out of the doors, it says, we should meet again. My design is mostly flowing curves and bending things to make it work together. You always go back and look at it and say, how can I improve it? So the thing you're trying to do is trying to satisfy that energy that you have inside. And then once you burn it out, then it's finished. One of the materials I like the most is metal. Metal's a challenge. And the best thing about welding, you can weld the piece together and see it in one second. Out of 14 steel, that stands for strength and energy and life. Someone look at their window or walk past that tree, they would see the meaning of the strength and energy that I put into it. This featuring soul of an artist is telling the world that artists' spirit goes into their work. It could be music, dance, it could be sculpture, painting. But when you're working on something, you forget about the outside world and you become a world of your own by creating. Art, to me, is my spirit. I'd like people to go more and look at my work objectively and look at it as a path or a place of discovery. I work in what you would call an abstract, expressive oeuvre. I use metaphors with my line. The line is a focus of my work. It's sort of like a, a foundation. I start with the line and I continue on with the line. I sometimes draw lines for days before I even approach a canvas because I want my life, my spirit, to connect with the line so that it's loose and fresh. And what you see is a culmination of things that I see in dreams and in visions that I've had. I'm able to exude into the future, the present, and the past. I have learned to put all of these strands together to release what I'm trying to impart. And I want those that look at my work to go on the same journey that I go on as I travel through with the line. This piece is a piece from the Fruit of the Vine series, which comes from a dream I had. In the dream, I was walking a group of children down the street and taking them to a higher light or a higher place of enlightenment. I use the line as a metaphor, and the circles are somewhat symbolic of the grape or the fruit of what I'm doing as I lead them. I close my eyes and I look inside, and I paint what I see from my inner man. When I paint, there is a euphoria and a place that makes me so happy. That's it. So is universal. Um, it's eternal. It's ongoing. It's not a voice. It's oh God. it's your pulse. It's your blood. It's the cells in your body that tingle. It's more of the feeling, the more of the experience, the more of becoming connected, not just with yourself, but the world around you. Those generations that have come before are still present within me. Those souls and creativity of African Americans on this continent grows within our young and upcoming African-American artists through our social statements, through our artistic endeavors and creations, and our ingenuity and constant, constant creativity.
creating new and different various forms of, of art. There are some things that will move and embrace me and move me spiritually and emotionally. And then others come purely from the mind, purely from that idea, the fascination, those fantastical places. And to capture that college this, but you look at that moment, that is where most all true artists have that gleam of the divine. I'm a visual artist. I am a sister, daughter, <laughs> small business owner. I'm a very spiritual person. I don't necessarily intentionally go into a meditative state. I think that just happens though when you're getting engaged in the art. I could be sitting in front of a canvas for seven hours and realize, oh, I forgot to <laughs> stop and eat. To me, that's such a good feeling because you're in that flow and you're in that space of just um, just existing. I do think that you put a little bit of yourself into each story that you tell in a painting, but at the same time, I really feel like I'm just recording what I see in other people. The wall is kind of honoring these figures that we know so well, and some that we don't know as well, but still have some amount of like fame around them, versus in my personal work, taking somebody who might just be my neighbor or just a relative of mine and trying to talk about them and you know tell their story as well. So it's two different kind of like almost angles like in a way but also meeting at the same time of trying to talk about people in general telling people stories i think just seeing something beautiful about a person whether it's their personality or just their general look and knowing that i want to take whatever it is that i see in them and put that into the work that i'm making being a woman in general in the art world is very hard um, you know, if you look at like the upper levels, I think a lot of times it's mostly men um, and mostly white men. So I don't see a lot of women that look like me at the very top, but in the good sense, it's motivating to me. It's like, okay, I could be that person that, you know, when a kid comes along that was my age once and is looking at history books and is looking for somebody that looks like themselves, maybe I can be that person in the future. I love doing art. I would say that's my main like aspect of who I am. and. You know, it, I think some people would think of it as a hobby, but to me, it's just so all-encompassing. It's like the way that you live your life, you walk around looking at things differently when, when you have art on your brain like that.